Did you know you can simulate cyber attacks within Office 365? No? Let's get right into it. So we all are familiar with Office 365 and we are aware that it's one of the most popular cloud-based offerings for most organizations. And the more popular a platform is, the more time bad guys will take to find ways in. This becomes a problem when organizations don't fully understand the shared responsibility model. So for example, that they think that the cloud platform is responsible for everything security related. And that's not always the case. So today we're going to look at how organizations can simulate their own cyber attacks within their own environment to see how secure they really are. All right, so before we get in too deep, let's take a moment to understand the requirements. So there are two requirements in order to follow along this demo. The first one is that we will need administrative access to the portal, so that can be in the form of global administrator. Secondly, we will need a specific license for this. So the license that applies to this is the Microsoft Defender for Office 365 Plan 2. So this is usually included in the Microsoft 365 E5 stack. All right, so now that we have the requirements out of the way, let's dive right into it. So first off, you need to browse to security.microsoft.com and you will have to sign in with your global admin credentials. So this used to be in the old portal, However, Microsoft is trying to consolidate all of the security products, you know, from a cloud perspective. And, you know, so the new landing page for this will be security.microsoft.com. And if we scroll down all the way under email and collaboration, if we scroll down, we see here attack simulation training. This is pretty much like a dashboard where you can see, you know, if you've ran any recent simulations, you know, what are the experience you know, how many users have completed training, and we can get into all of that a bit later. So what we're going to do now is we're going to say launch a simulation. And here we can see we've got several techniques that we can pursue. So the first one is a credential harvest, and that is pretty much, you know, sending out a malicious phishing email to users in your organization and see if they will actually click on it and enter their credentials. You know, why is that a bad thing? Because, you know, if there was any phishing email attempt done by the bad guys and wasn't picked up by your web security gateways or email security gateways, that will be a big problem, right? And then you will actually here you will understand who will be, you know, susceptible to one of those attacks. There are also other techniques like malware attachment where you can you see if you attach, you know, malware to an email and, you know, see if users will actually click on it. You know, there's a, you know, link in attachment, link to malware, and also a drive by URL. However, our focus today is going to be on credential harvest. So it's going to be a phishing attempt. So let's click on next. And let's give this simulation a name. And let's click on next. And now we can select a payload for this technique. So there's two things to note. You can even create your own payload or you can use one of the, you know, templates that you want to use. And there are quite a few templates, right? So you can choose like Black Friday offer, you know, claim to a fax document, failed messages. But I think one of the dirtiest ones, in my opinion, is a full mailbox notice, especially for people working from home. They're not sure because who knows what the size of their mailbox limitation actually is, except from the administrators. Most likely, very few people in the organization. So let's click on full mailbox notice. Let's click on next. And you can target your users. So we're going to either include the entire organization or just specific people. And I just want to, for this demo, I'm just going to target a specific user. So let's click on add. I'm going to type in the name. I'm going to click on enter. And here we can see I've got a user for my own domain called dane at savezone.fun. So I'm going to add that user. So he's going to be the target user. Let's click on next. And here we have the assignment of training, which I think is quite cool. So Office 365 will, you know, show you who is susceptible, you know, to phishing emails, but it will also you know, give you free access to training for those users that they can complete to ensure that this doesn't happen in the future again. And I'm just going to say here, well, assign training 
for me. So I don't have to specifically choose modules. You know, it will automatically assign the relevant material based on the attack that we're going to do. And here we can say due date, you know, we have a drop down here. And I want to say they have to complete it within seven days. Because, you know, if you give them too much time, users will forget and they couldn't care less. Right, let's click on next. Cool, so here we can actually customize the landing page. So let's say, for example, someone clicked on a link and, you know, they entered their credentials. You know, what will that end result be, you know, from an HTTPS or HTTP uh, point of view? And you can say the header, it's okay, you're human, let's learn from this. And here we have the body where it just explains like, okay, well, we're going to give you training material as opposed to, you know, just doing nothing. And this is customizable, but I think, you know, that's more than fine for this demo. And here we can actually schedule the launch of this simulation. We can either say, okay, we'll launch the simulation right now, or, you know, or we can schedule this, you know, in a later date. So I'm going to choose the launch the simulation as soon as I'm done. And what is quite cool is you can also enable region aware time zone delivery. So for now, I'm quite fine with that. And here's just the review. You can just review all of the things that you've created. So you can review the technique, which is the credential harvest, the phishing name, the description, and also the payloads that you're going to use. And here we've got the additional information here. We're going to schedule it. Cool. That being said, let's click on submit. All right. So now we can see the simulation has been launched, which is great. So I'm just going to choose done for now. And what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to refresh the page. And here we can see we've got a simulation. Under the recent simulations, it's called the fishing simulation. The, the type is credential harvest and the status is in progress. All right, so now that we know from an administrator point of view how it will look like, let's take a look at how it will look like for the end user and what their experience will be. Great, so I've signed into, you know, portal.office.com with the user which I've chosen, which will be Dane at savesend.fun, which will be my victim in my organization for now. And what we're going to do is we're just going to open up Outlook. And right at the top, we can have a look. I'm just going to open it up a bit bigger. And here you can see very important notice. Your mailbox is almost full. And you can click here, you know, to add some disk space or upgrade it. And there's a lot of telltale signs, you know, with the basic template, you know, that it's a phishing email. For example, you can have a look at the user sending this email. That's quite funky. You can also look at the, the name, you know. So, but you can all, always customize this, you know, with the custom template. But this will just give you an understanding of what is possible if you're licensed for this feature. Great. So let's go ahead and click on this. So what it's going to do now, it's going to actually ask us to sign in with our credentials to see if users are vulnerable, you know, or susceptible rather to this type of attack. So let's go ahead and type in then at saves and fun. And we're going to type in the password. I haven't enabled MFA yet. Um, purely for the reason this is a demo user, I'm going to trash this tenant as soon as I'm done. But okay, so now we can see here we get the, the custom page that they have assigned to us. Great, so now you can see, Dane, you were just fished. And then they say, it's okay, you're human, let's learn from this, right? And now they go to explain to you what telltale signs the users need to look out for, you know, especially when it comes to phishing emails. And you can see, you know, they explain to you, you know, the subject, they explain to you the from field, and all the different kind of fields, right? And... This is the worst thing that could happen to a user, but also if you can do it internally as opposed to it happening in the real world from a bad guy, you know, then it's not so bad, especially if you can assign training to a user. All right, so the user already, you know, made the bed dirty, but let's have a look at the admin portal again. All right, so it's been a few minutes, so let's head over to the fishing simulation that we have done. So it should load up now. All right, so here we can see, you know, the impact. So one out of the one users compromised, you know, by entering their credentials. So what that pretty means is, you know, that's pretty much worst case scenario. So here we can see, you know, a more detailed report. So we can see, you know, the email was successfully delivered to his inbox and we have clicked the link and we've also supplied the credentials. That's a very important aspect, you know, as well. Here we can drop down and view users. And it's pretty much just more of the same to say, okay, well, this user was compromised. Um, and he, you know, com he was compromised on that time because he, he supplied his credentials. 
So let's head back one page and another page back. All right, so let's view a basic report where it's going to re you know compare what our users click through score was, you know, compromise score was based on you know the information that Office 365 compares it to. So here we can see, you know, they predict that 25% of all users, you know, will fall for that template. And, you know, the actual compromise rate is 100% because we only had one user that was part of this, you know, scope and you know, that user was compromised. And here we can also look at the training completion. And here we can see, you know, for, for the specific user Dane that was compromised, you know, there has been training assigned. So it's called the web phishing and mass market phishing. And, you know, that user will have to complete those modules, you know, and we can also keep an eye on that, you know, from an administrative perspective as well. So it's not a matter of, you know, the user needs to go and do this, but you never know if they complete it or not. You can actually go and view how far are they with their training. And that's it, guys. It's as simple as that. So if you want to go ahead and play around with it, just remember it's security.microsoft.com. You need the specific license and you also need to be a global admin, you know, to do these kind of things. And also just make sure that you've got the permissions, you know, for your organization to roll this out, you know, and do not just do this as a blind test. My recommendation will also be, you know, play around with the, you know, the other types of attack simulation training as well. For example, you know, link in attachments, you know, link to malware, you know, malware directly as an attachment, all those kinds of things. And just get a feel of, you know, how mature is your organization in general, you know. Yes, you will have security layers that will have to protect against these kinds of things. But, you know, if one of these attacks should slip through the cracks, you know, how will the organization, you know, respond to these kinds of things? And remember, there's always a human element when it comes to phishing side of things. And the attack is now the human element is the easiest to exploit. That being said, I hope you found this video informative. Please leave a like on this video. Consider subscribing if you've learned anything. And we will continue with this series. Thanks, guys. Have a good one. See you guys in the next video.